The toughest and the roughest get the head bang win. And if you gotta cover, then you gotta cover. No bullshit, it's the joke of real kids lovers. What's up, what's up, what's up, everybody? <laughs> Welcome to You Rock, the show that plays your most rocking music. How'd you dig the new intro? Hope you like that shit. <laughs> uh, let's see who we got here. We got a lot of people uh, hanging out. We got a lot of uh, a lot of cool uh, cool chat comments already coming in. Uh, let's say hello to people that are, are here rocking with us tonight. We've got uh, Raymond McGurk. We have got uh, our uh, one of our awesome mods, Folk Punk. Hello, Folk Punk. We've got John Swanson. What's going on, John? Uh, we got Roque Avalaneta. First the shower, then the show, and pizza cooking. That's that sounds like a night. I I'd sign up for that. Um, we got uh, Counterfeit Self. What's going on? Uh, how you doing, uh, Dan? Uh, we got uh, Paul. Paul is in the house. What's up, Paul? DJ Big Red is here with us. What's up, DJ? We got. Robbie Stingle, what's going on, Robbie? Uh, we got Mark's GAS station. Welcome, Mark. Um, let's see, we got Ember Hill. What's going on, Ember? Good to see you. Um, we've got uh, Midnight Bandit is here with us. Tremor Bear is in the house. Uh, we got Patrick Lorian. What's going on, Patrick? Uh, let's see. Uh, we got the Falcro. What's up, Falcro? Uh, we got Mike Haggif here with us. Howdy, Mike. We got David Cartret in the house. Let's see. Uh, let's see who else. Um, thank you, Mike, for becoming a member of the Chaos Club, which you can do for just a dollar a month and get some extra emojis and stuff. Uh, let's see. Michael Thompson is here with us. What is up? Uh, we got uh, scrolling on down. We got Stephen Ewart here with us as well. We got the Mix Club. What's going on, Mixie? Um, Forest of the Wolf is here. What's up, Forest? <laughs> Ember Hill said that intro made me want to punch my neighbor. Yeah, we we I've been saying for a while I needed. I, I like the old intro, but I needed something a little bit more. Uh, uh, you know what this show is about. Um, you got Lars guitars. Uh, what's up, Lars? Frank Terzo, Frank the Man. The myth, the legend, what's going on? Sean Needham, Bittersweet Idea Factory, what's happening? Um, let's see who else. Uh, I miss any. JDL is here. What's up, JDL? Um, all right, I think I think I got everybody. If I miss you, let me know. But uh, all right, we got a great show lined up. This is episode one hundred and eighteen. Just crazy, crazy. The weeks and, and time just flying by. Uh, but we got we got a really great show lined up for you. Jade Star has made her way. Jade Star got a little got a little sun yesterday. Jade, <laughs> Jade got uh, Jade got a little sun on her walk. <laughs> a little little tan. A little tan. Um but, uh, that's that's the price you pay when you walk outside. Anyway, in the summertime especially. Uh all right, we're gonna get uh, we're gonna get started here. We've got uh, two brand new artists. Uh, uh, no, actually, four four brand new artists today. Um, so I'm pretty excited about that. We got a whole mess of premieres too. Um, so you just get buckle up, <laughs> buckle up. We got a lot of exciting stuff happening. Uh, all right, so we're gonna kick off the show here with a an artist. I I only saw this artist I think once on uh, on uh, a recent Your Music Live. Uh, but this is Open X with uh, peanut butter, and that's going to open the show. Um, so let's see what uh, let's see what the situation is here. So Open X uh, says, "We are from Bar Harbor, Maine. Pick yourself up, song." All right. So welcome, Open X, Bar Harbor, Maine. Let's uh, let's kick the show off here with a little bit of peanut butter. I 
Turn on the coffee and feed the dog Running late to smoke this fine cigar Driving 60 to my office chair See the same old faces that pass these cars, yeah That's right That was Open X with Peanut Butter, um, and uh, man, that is uh, that is a pretty sweet track, I have to say. Uh, as many people have said in 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 the comments, uh, in the chat here, uh, definitely radio ready. Um, that Tom roll at the end, holy shit, that was amazing. <laughs> Uh, excellent across multiple genres, like folk punk says there. Some great piano playing in that one. Vocals were just killer. Um, and uh, you, you really have to appreciate the production value on this. And, uh, you know, it just has a really big, full, and uh, open sound. Um, there's uh, there's Gary Hallett. Welcome, Gary, um, drummer for uh, Open X. Well, <laughs> you're you're responsible for that Tom roll, and that was pretty uh, that was pretty freaking epic. Um, can you tell us uh, is is there a better uh, like a YouTube channel to get in touch? Because we got a uh, we got a topic channel, and that unfortunately doesn't lead any. I don't know if you have like a like an official kind of uh, YouTube channel or anything going on that we can uh, send folks to or a uh, band camp page. Unfortunately, you can't put links in the chat, but like you might be able to point us in the right direction, but that's an awesome, awesome track. Uh, so hopefully there's a way, <laughs> hopefully there's a way to go and, and get, you know, 
subscribed or, or whatever the case may be. Just see real quick if I, I can't find anything. But uh, yeah, great stuff though. Uh, loved it. <laughs> I love the track. Excellent stuff. Thank you so much for sending that one on in our way. I uh, really appreciate that. And uh, yeah, go and uh, check out. I'm sure it's on like uh, DistroKid and stuff, right? Probably. Uh, if it's a topic channel, it has to be. So go go search out OpenX on uh, on Spotify and uh, or whatever your favorite music listening uh, service is, and you should be able to find it there. Uh, but you are very welcome. Thank you, Gary. All right. Uh, so another new artist that we've got uh, this week here on the show, uh, we've got Moravian. And uh, this track is called Infatuation. Moravian, uh, as is Open X, both uh, out of the United States. And this is what we have for Moravian. Uh, good music. Indie band from Detroit. All right. Uh, nice and short and sweet to the point. Detroit Rock City. All right, let's get this one happening here. This is uh, Infatuation by Moravian. It's no longer hard to focus I'll hold this one to 
That was Infatuation by Moravian. You may get an infatuation with uh, the sound of this band because uh, uh, they are they are really good. <laughs> I got to say, uh, the first two tracks we had, uh, just off to a, a flying start here. Uh, we got some real indie rock vibes with this one. Um, people are throwing out all kinds of indie rock bands, and I just think it's it's just got that great indie sound. You could probably take any number of of indie bands and and make comparisons also a little bit like uh the kind of late 80s uh, mid to late 80s kind of thing that was going on um with the just kind of like some of the early alt rock when that whole movement kind of started we got some of those influences i think in here as well a little bit of punk too um but uh, this is a uh, this is some really quality songwriting. I love how it kind of ramped up in intensity as the song went on. You got some extra like uh, kind of noises and stuff that came in there. Uh, great vocal melodies going on, uh, and uh, some cool uh, guitar work as well. Like this is this is uh, this is quality stuff. They are criminally undersubscribed. I can tell you that right now. Uh, so I hope that you go over, maybe even feloniously, I, it probably feloniously, go over and subscribe to Moravian. They've got a, some stuff that's already up. Um, they have some live stuff that's up on their channel. They've got uh, they got some a uh, couple of uh, tracks that are already out that you can check out over there. So uh, and I'm sure there's a lot more to come. So uh, please go and check them out and uh, give them a play because uh, this is some this is some quality quality stuff. From Moravian, thank you so much for sending that on in as well, Moravian. Um, hopefully, we'll hear more from them in the future. Uh, certainly, do hope so. Uh, let's say hello to. Uh, I saw Pete Johns came in here. Pete, what's going on? And uh, we got uh, Michael Michael Lanthier, Wolf Seven Music. What's happening? Um, Mix Club asks, "What does what does Fallon I I can't even pronounce that." Uh, f oh, feloniously. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Mix. I don't know what you're talking about. But <laughs> hey, Pookie Ann, welcome. Good to have you with us. Uh, all right. The great stuff there from Moravian, huh? How about that? Wow. Um, all right. We're gonna. We got another new artist. Uh, Calendar Girl, and uh, this track is called mania and so let's get uh let's get a little more information because i know nothing <laughs> uh but uh let's find out so and and the only description here is my art project all right <laughs> we got the short and sweet descriptions here today uh so let's head over this is on soundcloud so we'll uh we'll pop over to the soundcloud here and uh check this out from moravian this is a this is a uh, no, not from Moravian. I'm on the last. I'm still on the last song. We're just getting started here, folks. Um, this is Calendar Girl, and this track is called Mania. Now I'm crying on your voicemail, screaming call. 
That was uh, Mania from Calendar Girl, um, and uh, yeah, this is a this is yet another incredible indie rock track. We've had some really great indie rock tracks here to to kick off the show. It's weird you get these kind of themes that pop up. Maybe that's going to be a theme tonight. Who knows? <laughs> but uh, I'll tell you what this this track is uh, second to none. Um, another fantastic track. Hello, Pagan Song. Welcome. Um, Hello, Mike Olson, who has popped in. Mars Capone. We've got Gore Team 85 in the house. Uh, welcome to all of you. Uh, but yeah, this and Rebel Rocker as well. Hello, Rebel Rocker. Uh, but yeah, this is uh, this is absolutely now. One of the things, one of my favorite things in this song was uh, kind of toward the end. Um, they they changed the the kind of um, reverb situation with it. Cut it went completely dry strong proximity effect with the microphone that was a cool change up that was a cool change up from what had been happening previously so um so i, I like that one and and uh hello to howling fret fumbler welcome um but yeah i i really i really thoroughly uh, dug this track i think this is uh this is some really solid stuff go and uh, go and give them a follow if you're on the soundcloud head over to calendar girl on soundcloud and uh check it out i think this is the only track uh uh, he's got up right now, but uh, I'm, I'm assuming there'll be more soon. So uh, keep up the great work. Thank you so much, Calendar Girl. Great to have you on the U Rock Show. Um, all right, so now we're gonna get into some premieres. But our next premiere is also a uh, <laughs> Roke says work trip done, groceries done, shower done. Now Thomas Christ, yeah, right on. Um, so our next artist, uh, our next uh, track is also it's a premiere and a new artist, kind uh, kind of I think. Um, I, I I'm gonna really struggle with the pronunciation of this one. Um, Kula Brise, it's probably nowhere near accurate. Uh, Beer Garden Glasses is the name of this track. Um, and let's uh, let's get a little bit more info uh, on this one. So this is sent in actually by uh, Dan of uh, Counterfeit Self. Uh, and he says here, uh, the world premiere of uh, Kula Brisa with beer garden glasses, an orphan from Germany, maybe, who finally found themselves in the world of hip hop, is desperate to find love and respect from the greatest European football team uh, of all time, Borussia Dortmund. All right. So we're going to check this out. And the video is unavailable. <laughs> oh, man, you got to love it. Dan, you gotta you gotta fix your link, man. Um, the video is unavailable, so I don't know. <laughs> I'll show you. There you go. Video unavailable. <laughs> Hello, development of a void. DOA, welcome. Uh, all right. So maybe we'll swing back to that one. <laughs> I'm not sure what's going on there. Uh, we'll go into another premiere. We've got a premiere here from. Um, we got a premiere here from Stephen Ewart, and this one's called New Tune, No Name Premiere. Um, and so let's let's find out what Stephen um, says about this one here. So Stephen says, uh, and Stephen, by the way, for, out of Australia, of course, uh, he says, I fired up my Korg Oasis last week and jammed for an hour or so. Now finding bits I like and adding bass, guitars, tenor sax, and trombone. Footage is some drone action at 
Coolanagata on the Gold Coast, Queensland. It's a three-hour drive from my place. All right. So let's check this out here from Stephen Ewart. Premiere. New tune, no name, by Stephen Ewart. <laughs>
All right, that was Steven Ewart with the uh, with the premiere of New Tune No Name. And uh, so which city is this? I uh, said in his uh, description, uh, it's Coolangatta on the Gold Coast of uh, Queensland in Australia. So, uh, yeah, some great drone footage there from uh, Steven and some really fantastic. I, I like the way... Um, I like the way Howling F Fumbler put it here. Um, some fantastic evocative playing, uh, which you know you're, is what you're gonna get um, from Steven because he, you know, he's such a fantastic uh, musician, fantastic horn player, and it comes through in all of his music. And uh, it's got a great groove to it. It's very chill, nice, uh, nice kind of tune to just uh, put play in the car. Driving down on a warm, you know, driving through some of those are beautiful areas that you saw there, um, some of those beach areas. Put that in the car. You're good. You're good. You're good to go. Um, but go and subscribe to Stephen Ewart and check out more of his music and uh, all the all the cool stuff that he's up to over there on his channel. And uh, and you can you know find him on DistroKid and uh, he's got his own website. He's got all the stuff. All the stuff for you to check out, and uh, and all of it is very very well done. So thank you so much, Stephen Ewart. Great premiere, and uh, appreciate that uh, submission. All right, we're gonna go to uh, another uh, premiere from another solid gold rocker. We're gonna go back to uh, we're gonna go back to Cool Breeze. I found out it's called uh, Cool Breeze. So um, let me see if I can get this. Get this link here happening. Well, let's let's just check. It might still be the same link. Okay, yes. We have it working now. All right, good. Uh, so, uh, just to refresh your memory on this one. Uh, uh, world premiere of Cool Breeze with beer garden glasses. An orphan from Germany who finally found themselves in the world of hip-hop Desperate to find love and respect from the greatest football team of all time, Borussia Dortmund. All right. So now we got this. Now we got this happening. We got it working. Uh, brand new channel, by the way, too. Uh, so I'm going to subscribe to it right now because I know it's Dan and it's going to be cool. So uh, let's check it out. Cool Breeze. World premiere right here. Mm-hmm. <sighs> <laughs> Let's get the party going with a little mention show up. Contain yourself for moments till the party starts a moaning. Around and round in circles with so many pretty girls. How will I ever choose when we're all neck deep in booze? <laughs> Desperate hungry eyes Low lifetime standards In homely rapping guys Beer garden glasses Desperate hungry eyes Low lifetime standards With horny rapping guys Speakers louder and get the crowd all routed. We want to make a mess inside, so time to get real naughty. Grab the closest mammal if you think that you can handle the instinct of cool breeze. Cause you see, I'm like an animal. <laughs> Desperate hungry eyes Low lifetime standards And homely rapping guys Beer garden glasses Desperate hungry eyes Low lifetime standards With horny rapping guys Self for moments.
seconds till the party starts a moaning. Around and round in circles with so many pretty girls. How will I ever choose when we're drowning in the boots? Desperate hungry eyes, low lifetime standards with horny rapping guys. That was a uh, cool breeze. Beer garden glasses. Man, that 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 is wicked. <laughs> Man, Dan Dan is always full of surprises. And uh this this is definitely this is definitely one of them. I didn't see uh, a pop rap song coming from uh, from from Dan, but uh, there we go. And and he not he not only did it, but he but he crushed it. He crushed it. Uh, he got all the little, all the little details, and the the video especially is really good. Um, you got all the, you know, the the clothes you gotta have. You know, you gotta have the cool sneakers. That's important in a rap song. Um, and you gotta have the cars, and the, you know, the everything in that video, man. It's just uh, awesome. Um, that uh, that was pretty. Uh, that was pretty fun. I like that one. Uh, I, and I saw that. I definitely see the Ali G resemblance. And that's funny that, that people thought that. <laughs> I mean, hey, I might I might have thought that too if I'd seen that happening. Uh but that's awesome. Um uh, so yeah. <laughs> Big Pimpin'. There you go. Um now there, I think there's a lot of inside stuff because I don't really follow like uh, uh European football per se, so I don't know what's going on with a lot of that stuff. <laughs> there's probably a lot of inside uh, references that uh uh, Dan says the five Germans who wouldn't join me as they walk by because they're Munich fans. <laughs> yeah, see all this stuff about uh, all the stuff about the the European football. I don't, I don't. That probably goes right over my head, but uh, it's a cool, cool song, cool video. I like it. I dig it. Um, go subscribe to Cool Breeze because um, yeah, I don't. It's probably a brand new channel, brand new channel. So uh, you can be one of the very first subscribers. To the Cool Breeze channel. This is uh this is pretty awesome. Uh, they they were super drunk too. <laughs> right on. <laughs> oh man. Uh, so very cool. Thank you so much for that one. Uh, that's awesome. That's awesome, Dan. I love that. I love that. Uh, all right, we're gonna go to our next premiere. Another uh, solid gold rocker on the channel here. Um, has a premiere. Nick Apostolares, this is also a You Got It Covered. It, it, you know, it's, it's, it's ticking a lot of boxes here. Um, so this is a, a Malibu Heavy uh, Hole Cover. And uh, from Nick Apostolares, let's read a little bit more here. Uh, he says, uh, Hey, Thomas, glad you were back up and rocking. Thank you. Uh, this is something different. My first time fooling around making a video back a few years ago. Just a montage of personal photos, some from my honeymoon. Malibu is a great song written by Courtney Love, guitarist Eric uh, Erlinson, and also Billy Corgan of the Smashing Pumpkins. I'll probably take this down after the show. First time sharing it. Cheers, man. Uh, well, I hope I hope you don't take it down because it's probably it's probably going to be pretty good. But uh, let's check this out. All right, this is uh this is Nick Apostolaris cover of uh Malibu by uh Hole. <laughs>
That was Nick Apostolaris with a heavy cover of Holes uh, Malibu. Um, guitar cover there. Um, that was, first of all, I got to say, it, it was pretty cool to see uh, some more pictures of uh, who I presume is Nick. Um, I've only ever seen that one picture of him that he's got on his profile. Um, so, so that was kind of cool to see some more, uh, to see some more pictures of him throughout the years and, and all the stuff, uh, cool stuff he's been up to. I thought this, uh, I thought this was a great, uh, great, uh, uh guitar cover of the classic whole song, um, uh, Malibu. Uh, I thought he was going to bust out on the vocals too, but, uh, yeah, <laughs> this is, this is an instrumental track, but this, this is awesome. And it, it does seem to be pretty unanimous across the, uh, Across the chat here, not to get rid of the song, um, because you got uh, Kubrick Lover here says don't take it down. David Cartrett says don't take it down. I'd say leave it up. I think it's uh, I think it's cool. I think it's cool. Um, so nicely done there, Nick Apostolaris. If you're not subscribed to Nick, by the way, head over to his channel um, and uh, subscribe. Check out more of uh, his music. Uh, he's a very talented individual. You can also head over to his uh, band camp, which uh, I think he's got most of his stuff up on there. Uh, and uh, I know it was in here somewhere. There it is. So there, if you go to nickapostolaris.bandcamp.com, uh, you can check out all of Nick's uh, music there. Laura's Guitars says uh, leave it up. Kim Harden Hudson. Hello, Kim, by the way. It says leave it up. I mean, I think I think it's pretty, uh, I think it's pretty unanimous here. Um all right. <laughs> Ember Hill. If I didn't sound like Camel Queef, I'd sing the fuck out of that. <laughs> oh, man. We, we missed the Ember Hill, you know? Uh, all right. By the way, speaking of Ember Hill, we got, uh, we got a track, a uh, brand new track from Ember Hill coming up uh, a little bit later in a certain spot in the middle of the show. That's where that needs to go. Um, all right. Pagan Song. Uh, we got a premiere from Pagan Song. It's been way too long. Uh, I, I love seeing people uh, come back that we haven't heard from in a little while. And uh, so Pagan Song is back with a new track here called Akira. And uh, let's see what uh, let's see what Pagan Song says. Hello, peeps. Welcome to Neo Tokyo. This is Akira, an, an homage to the 1988 film by uh, Katsuhiro Otomo. This was my first introduction to cyberpunk, one of my favorite sci-fi genres. Released over 30 years ago, it still holds up. The main song for the protagonist used the, the gamelan, traditional Indonesian percussion, which is also used here. I've added some effects and choirs. All right. So let's, uh, let's give, this a, give this a play here. World premiere. This is Akira, an homage by Pagan Song.
All right, that was Pagan Song with Akira. Brand new uh brand new track premiered right here. Um now, uh I'm going to be um I'm I'm going to be uh a, a little a little lost on this one also because I don't I don't really do like the whole you know anime thing and all that. So, uh I I've heard of Akira. I've definitely heard of it, but uh that's 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 as far as I go on that. But what I heard here it sounded fantastic. Nicely done. Nicely done by uh Pagan Song as always, as always. Um and uh love that uh so that the the Gamelin is uh Forest of the Wolf says here similar to a xylophone also wooden plates hammered. So yeah. Um yeah, the Gamelin has a kind of a xylophone kind of a uh sound to it and uh it was used really well here in this track. Um so nicely done with the uh, with the visuals as well. Um so yeah. Great stuff, and and we're most excited about this. Uh, Pagan Song getting more music out this year. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Do that. Because <laughs> uh, we, we love some Pagan Song here on the channel. By the way, if you're not subscribed to Pagan Song, Pagan Song feloniously undersubscribed. So please head over to the Pagan Song channel and uh, hit that subscribe button and uh, check out more of Pagan Song's great, great music soundscapes. Really incredible, really incredible stuff. Um, so thank you very much, Pagan Song. Great, great way to uh, kind of start out uh, here in the early part of the new year with some new Pagan Song. Yeah, cool. Um, all right, and thank you very much uh, to Michael Zeland. Welcome, Michael. I saw uh, just uh, came in here a minute ago. There's Michael. Um, thank you for uh, re rejoining the uh, the. Uh, uh, what is my thing? What is my thing again? God, my brain is like mush today. Uh, the, uh, the the solid gold rockers. That's the thing I have. <laughs> That's the thing I have. If you also want to join solid gold rockers, you can do that on Patreon, or you could do it on PayPal. Uh, and if I if I remember what the, <laughs> the what is the name of my thing that I have, you know, the solid gold rockers, of course. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Brain is firing on all cylinders today. We can see that. Uh, thank you, Michael. Uh, all right, let's go to... Uh, we got uh, two more premieres. Um, we got Trentico. And uh, if you remember... So Trentico, uh, last week, we had a little bit of a diversion because uh, he had a special song he wanted to put out for his grandfather who had recently passed. But uh, we're getting back to um, Trentico's new album, that uh, he's been rolling out these tracks for it. And uh, so this time uh, we have The New Humanity. And uh, he says about this one, uh, this track is our first look into an android, Omeo as a protagonist. And right from the start, you can hear his lyrics dripping with animosity toward the human race for driving his wife, Mori Ostra, insane. In this track, Omeo talks about how androids are in resurgence and how they will eventually be the new humanity. All right. All right, so here we go. This is the premiere of Trentico's The New Humanity. Down to accept. You're nothing special. 
special. You're just like the rest. That was Trentico with the new Humanity. And uh, this is going to be one of the tracks on the uh, upcoming Mori Ostra album that uh, should be out. I think it was uh, I think it was March. March. I can't I can't remember the exact date that it's coming out, but I know it's coming out uh, fairly soon here. Uh, yeah, it had a bit of a had a bit of a uh, bit of a hard ending there, but uh, I'm sure like when you hear it in the context of the album, I'm sure it's all going to like. It's all gonna like make more, even more sense. Um, but I, I, lo- I love what you're doing here. I love the the vocal approach on this with the kind of whispered uh, vocals. I thought that was, I thought that was a nice touch for uh, what you're trying to do there. Love the uh, synth programming that was going on, kind of in the background with that piano melody. Um, just, just really, really, um, really well constructed, really uh, well crafted. So um, head over to uh, Trentico's channel, Trentico is very 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 close right now to hitting 1000 subscribers i think we've been saying that um so if you're not subscribed to trentico uh please go over there uh because he only needs nine more subscribers that's it nine more subscribers to reach the the coveted 1000 subscriber mark where everybody everybody wants to get there (laughs) so yeah nine more you're gonna get you're gonna get there trentico i know you will um keep putting out awesome music like this um but uh yes if you're not subscribed to trentico head over to uh, his channel um he's had a bit of a rough go of it lately uh but he's got a great new album that he's putting together and uh, i'm sure he would really appreciate your support um so if you're not subscribed head on over there we've already got we've got him one closer eight only more eight more now uh but uh you can go down um if you miss any of the tracks, by the way, all of the uh, all of the submissions, all of the songs are in the description, except the premieres, which I'll put in in uh, in a little bit when I get a chance here. Um, uh, but yes, there you go. Hey, more to life. What's going on, Venom? How you doing? Um, uh, so Trentico says uh, Mori Ostra is actually album sixth, and I have my fifth album called Ashes coming out uh, January nineteenth. So got got a lot of pots cooking. That's good. That's good. Uh, so yeah, you're definitely gonna want to be subscribed to Trentico and keep up with all the uh, all the latest and greatest music that's coming out uh, there. So thank you very much, Trentico, and uh, yeah, keep up the amazing work. All right. Let's. Uh, we got. Uh, I think one more premiere, and this comes to us from Sean Needham, Bittersweet Idea Factory. This song is called Mouth. And um, let's see what uh, what information we can glean from ye, ye old description. Uh, so Sean says here, uh, this world premiere, only three people have seen or heard this one. I've been working on it for a couple weeks and it's ready to go. Not much to say about it. It's a live and let live, mind your business anthem wrapped in a filthy groove. Hi, Thomas. <laughs> All right. That sounds like my cup of tea, though. So let's check this out here this is uh the world premiere mouth from sean needham bittersweet idea factory
headlines. Horrific images no one needs to see. To twist your mind so you can see what they need. The playing field has grown immensely. A solid fraction of 7 billion. Typing feverishly. With righteous spittle on the screen. Broken thumbs and just plain me. Suggesting living in tents. No power, no water, no heating vents. I like my toys. I like my comfort. I'm nothing special. But I love being alive even though it's so hard to survive. I can give up anytime I want. But I won't. I struggle. Bad. But I'm still here. Still breathing. And if you made it this far, I guess you are too. So congratulations if you did. Just take a breath. Go hug your kid. Then go back and scroll away. But maybe, enjoy a little more of each day. Everyone's. 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 Oh man, <laughs> that's that's wild. Sean Needham, bittersweet idea factory with mouth. Um, well, I I don't even I'm I'm like speechless. <laughs> that's that's crazy. That's crazy. Uh, innovative. Um. There's there's so many different things that are uh, happening that are going on here, um, but uh, yeah, it, you know it's got uh, it's got that really funky bass line that uh, kind of underpins the whole thing. Some great brass stabs that are happening in that one. Um, then you got those kind of unsettling AI uh, uh, or, or you know computer generated vocals that are happening in there um, with uh, yeah some really some really cool poetry um, and. Uh, yeah, just uh, uh, brilliant uh, artwork and design in this as well. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know what you, I don't know what you wouldn't like. Um, probably, uh, you know, th some Parliament funkadelic roots in this. Probably some, uh, you know, a little bit of, uh, I don't know, man. <laughs> It it's just uh you know it's uniquely uh it's uniquely Sean Needham Bittersweet Idea Factory. Uh there's a lot of great ideas that are coming out of that factory right now, I'll tell you that. Uh production is is hot there. Uh, so if you are not familiar with Sean Needham or the Bittersweet Idea Factory, um what you ought to do is head over to his uh channel and subscribe. He's criminally undersubscribed and uh there's a lot more brilliant stuff where that came from and you know it's all there's a lot of diversity there there's a lot of creativity the creativity is off the charts uh in everything i've heard so far from sean so yeah go and subscribe <laughs> like seriously <laughs> that's all i can say um uh, but very well done very well done sean thank you so much for that one um man it's always uh it's always an adventure and always a, always a pleasurable one to uh to see what you come up with next this is cool. So thank you. Thank you, Sean. <laughs> awesome. Um, take care. Uh, more to life. Thanks for stopping in. Um, all right. So that's going to do it. That's our premieres for today. By the way, if you have a uh, premiere that you want to uh, have featured on the show, um, all you got to do, make sure that it is unlisted. must be unlisted until it plays on the show. Uh, but you can send it to bit.ly forward slash you rock submit. Or if you have a song that's already out, even an older song. Uh, I was having a discussion with somebody yesterday um, about older songs, and uh, you know, uh, obviously we want to hear your new stuff. But if you got an older track that you want to send in, you don't have anything new, 
maybe there's an older track that you think, hey, you know, th this kind of got passed by, and I think it needs more eyes on it. Go ahead and send that in too. There's no, you know, I've played stuff that people have sent in that uh, was from back in like the 1980s and 1990s off a of four track or something, you know, uh, and that that's cool too, you know, that's great. So send that in if you got that, uh, whatever you got, send it in. Um, all right. So now we're going to get into uh, some tracks from our Solid Gold Rockers, and uh, we're going to start off with uh, this guy right here, Mars Capone. Uh, and uh, this is the piano version. I think we have played a different version of this song on the show already, but this is the piano version of uh, his brand new track that is still kind of uh, in progress in some ways. Um, is uh, Grief Bacon, um, which if you will remember from the from the other description, uh, it, it, uh, it comes from a term called um, Kummerspeck. You know, you know how great I am with German, right? Uh, but it's uh, basically like. Uh, overeating in a period of grief, and it's a it's a expression in 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 German. So that's if you're wondering about the title. Um, and he says here, unfortunately, not a premiere, but fortunately, that's because Jade Star requested it for a best of 2023 show. The finished uh, rock music version will premiere on TCU Rock. I think this is a song of hope. All right. Well, I think this is a song we're gonna play right now, and. Uh, there we are. All right. So here we go. This is piano version of Morris Capone, Grief Bacon. Oh, man. 
That was Grief Bacon Piano Version by Mars Capone. Yeah, John, I, I agree 100%. Beatles-esque, but probably more than that, um, John Lennon. I really feel like there's a lot of John Lennon in, in this in this track. Um man, there's so much there's so much to praise about this. Um I, I really don't even know where to begin. But um like the um the piano playing is just uh wow, out of this world. Um from the glissandos to the you know, the use of dynamics and, and the uh, intricate runs and stuff like Mars is is showing off his piano skills uh, on this one, and it's really good. Um, the vocals, I love the way the vocals are mixed. I love how big the vocals are. The vocals are massive in this song. Um, they just sound huge, and I, I, it really works well in this in this context. Um, and uh, the clap along parts and and all that. Um, and uh, yeah, the. Man, it's it's so good. Um, uh, but it does it does sound like a it does sound like a lost like John Lennon or Beatles song, um in, in some way. Um uh, but there's a lot of other influences too. I, I know people have made the Queen comparison with this one. Um and uh yeah, this is this is some next level stuff from Morris Capone. Uh and this isn't even like the final thing. This is just like one version of it. But uh but yeah. It's very cool. Um uh, so thank you very much. Uh, Mars Capone, great work on this, and uh, man, it's a it's a haunting song. Like it, it literally, it it's we talk about earworms, but this one will get stuck in your head, and you'll think of it at random times because it happens to me already. It happens to me. Um, so fantastic stuff. Thank you so much, Mars Capone. If you're not subscribed to Mars Capone, feloniously undersubscribed. Yes, yes, he is. Uh, go and subscribe right now. Get those clicking fingers happening. <laughs> we need clicking. We need a lot of clicking going on. <laughs> get, uh, get, uh, get your, uh, get your clicks over there on, uh, Morris Capone. And, uh, he's got a lot of awesome music there to check out too. Uh, so, uh, Yoko's my mom. <laughs> oh man. Great stuff. So. Trevor Bear says, uh, "So far today, you rock is like listening to the top fifty song. Yeah, it's like the, it's like the, but it's better than that though. You're not gonna hear the, you're not gonna hear these songs anyplace else. All right, um, now we're gonna get to uh, this one. Um, so we already heard a song uh, from Dan's uh, new project, uh, Cool Breeze, but this is from Counterfeit Self, um, and this song is called The First Time Lyric Video." Um, so let's uh let's hear a bit more about this one. That's right, we're getting a double dose of Dan today. Um he says I'm approaching the completion of the the Michael Bum and this song has not seen the group yet. Let me know what you think of the song behind this strange lyric video. All right. So we'll check this out here from uh Counterfeit Self. And this is the first time it's a live lyric video, Counterfeit Self. Just juice my vocals up a little bit because I couldn't hear myself. <laughs>
All right, there we go. That was uh, Counterfeit Self with the first time live lyric video. Um, and uh, yeah, I kind of I kind of figured that out after it's it's Michelbum, uh, which is due to come out for their tenth anniversary. Uh, in uh, very soon, so um, yeah, a lot of a lot of fun energy in in this track for sure. Um, and uh, you know, the songwriting is incredibly great. Um, I really, um, I I really agree. There is definitely like a little bit of an eighties eighties uh, vibe going on, but it's more you know. I mean, this is the kind of song that's timeless. I I, I could see this written in 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 somebody else's sixties and. Um, there wasn't too much disagreement about that either. I mean, this is the kind of a song that could have been written in a lot of different, in different time frames, and it just, it just kind of works, and it kind of, um, you know, it, it's kind of uh, again timeless. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, if you aren't, uh, if you aren't on uh, Counterfeit Self band page, subscribed, then uh, you definitely should be, because um, he is uh, feloniously uh, and maybe treasonously undersubscribed. Uh, just got incredible, incredible uh, songs that you will be blown away uh, when you check out more of uh, Dan's music. I mean, we've heard two great examples just today, so um, I, I don't know what more I can say that would convince you to head over there. Uh, fortunately, we got uh, we got Counterfeit Self over 50 subscribers, which is great. Crossing the 50 subscriber mark. That's the first step, and then uh, pretty soon you'll be at a hundred, and then shoo, to the moon, man. You know, a uh, thousand will be there before long. Uh, but thank you very much, uh, Dan. Uh, counterfeit self, great stuff. Um, all right, all right. We're gonna go to our next one. Uh, this is a collaboration, uh, a collaboration between JDL and Forest of the Wolf. This song is called. Running wild. Oh, if this is what I think it is, I think this is going to be a fun one. Let's see. All right, so this is a JDL, Forest of the Wolf. Um, hey, Thomas, this is a new original parody hip-hop song by Forest of the Wolf and I. Mark created the backing track, and I wrote the lyrics. Song is about a fictional rap star called Slim JD. Hope you like it. <laughs> yeah, I love the Slim JD thing. That's awesome. That's so great. All right, I'm pretty excited to hear this. I hope you are too. You should be. This is JDL, Forest of the Wolf, uh, with uh, Running Wild. Hi, my name is Slim Shady. No, wait a minute, that's not it. I'm Slim JD and my rhymes all here. Got a voice for the radio, just ask the family Forever been blessed in every way When the Lord, he gave, he gave it all to me Average never describes me Hit every single branch of the handsome tree I'm short, I'm fat, I'm this, I'm that, I'm up and down, I'm all around. 
All right. That was uh, JDL, or should I say Slim JD, uh, with Forest of the Wolf running wild. Um, yeah, that's a lot of fun. That's a lot of fun right there. Um, yeah, and, you know, and this this actually, you know, really had some great uh, hooks in it. Um, Love the bass in that. The bass was just nasty in that one. Uh, so, uh, yeah. A lot of fun. A lot of fun this track. I like the I like the whole alter ego. Um Slim J D. I think that's cool. Uh and uh video. Video is really great as well. Um and uh so there's just like little things that I notice. Like like it almost like JDL's uh JDL's face on on there almost looks like a troll face. <laughs> so because you know, because it is a it's a humorous thing, um, and uh, I also noticed a, li a little thing I noticed, and I don't, I don't know, you know, this is just this is a random thing. Was was there was there a, was there a heffalump and woozle reference in there? <laughs> I swear to God, there was. Um, the whole thing, I'm in, I'm out, I'm all about. If you've ever seen that that heffalumps and woozles thing from like Winnie the Pooh, uh, I, was that was that a little a little nod to that? Because I always like that scene. It's it's weird. It's really freaking weird. Um, if you've never seen that before, don't don't watch it on uh, acid because or any any <laughs> psychedelics because you might go to places you don't want to go. But uh, hello, Charlie Gabagon. What's going on? Uh, but yeah, this is a great cover. Great uh, or great not cover. Not a cover. Original original song. Forest of the Wolf and JDL. Uh, Knocked it out on this one. So so much fun. So great. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. You, like you, there you go. Yeah, the yeah the the heffalump and woozle thing. I sometimes I have to. I've actually heard some really good covers of that too. There's there's like one guy on YouTube who did a cr insane cover of that. <laughs> like he did all the parts himself, played all the instruments. It was it was wild. Like seriously, <laughs> but. Uh, yeah, go and subscribe. If you're not subscribed to JDL, please uh, head over um, to uh, JDL's channel um, and uh, hit that subscribe button. And then you can follow the, in the uh, description. You can also go over to Forest of the Wolf and uh, subscribe to Mark as well because he is also amazing and um, just doing fantastic things. Yeah, you got to watch out because they will uh, they will guzzle up the things you prize. They will. Uh, Anyway, oh God, what are what are we getting ourselves into here? Uh, David Cartret, David Cartret uh, has got one for a brand new track. I think uh, this one is uh, Holiday. Let's see you. I'll see here what we have in the description. Um, oh, not a new song. Um, so this not a new song. Forget what I said about the new song. Um, this song, Holiday, I released nine months ago. I noticed that I have no likes on the track, and if people don't like it, that's fine. But to like it would be cool. Just saying. Uh, one fact, uh, in the intro of the video, two people are switching the radio to different songs. The first song is No Direction from my first album, Reflection. The second song is my song, uh, Paranormal Phenomenon. Lastly, they agree to Holiday. Oh, and at the time of this song's release, I had not put out Paranormal Phenomenon. It was a sneak peek, but I think a lot of people missed it. I guess it was meant to be heard here on the Thomas Christ Show. Yeah. Uh, thanks again for what you do. Um, P.S. This, this is just a little, uh, just a little uh, warning for everybody. This video moves fast from the inside of a fast car at times, so please be aware if you have any problem with motion sickness. Apologies now. So uh, if you suffer from motion sickness, you may want to be, uh, be careful with this one. But let's check it out. This is uh, This Holiday by David Cartret.
That was David Cartret with Holiday. And uh yeah, I think if it didn't get a lot of likes, maybe it maybe it was just because we hadn't played it here on the on the uh You Rock show. Um I just gave it a like because uh I, I think it's a fantastic song. Um first of all, you gotta compliment um the videography in this track in this video. Um like uh getting all that time lapse footage and stuff. Um from uh, from highway to dirt roads, like Awesome, awesome job on that, and uh, uh, it adds a lot of. Uh, it kind of goes along with that high energy, high octane kind of uh, uh, feel that this song has. Um, classic rock, a little bit, a uh, little bit of southern, a little bit southern rock, which uh, which makes sense. Um, and uh, yeah, just a uh, just a great song. So anybody that missed out on that, uh, miss out no more. Hopefully, uh, hopefully uh, you're, you 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 see what a great song this is, and uh, go over there, subscribe to David Cartret because he is feloniously undersubscribed at the moment, and uh, yeah, thank you so much for for that track. That was uh, that was fantastic, and that's what exactly what I'm talking about. You know, if you got an older track and uh, you think maybe it's been, you know, some things just slip through the cracks. It does happen. Send them on in. You know, bit.ly forward slash you rock submit. Uh, but uh, thank you very much, David Cartret. That was awesome. Um, all right, take care. Live to fly. Yeah, I can't upset the boss. Uh, but uh, hello to Rainfield Music. Welcome, Rainfield. And uh, welcome as well to Hugh Caldwell, who stopped in. Gordon Lee Weaver. Hello, Gordon. Good to see all of you. Um, all right. So thank you very much, David Cartret. Uh, all right, we're gonna we're gonna stay in the southern United States and uh, go over to Tobias H. Reese. Um, Tobias H. Reese says uh, here uh, this is a song called "Blessings of the Blind," and uh, let's see what we have here from Tobias today. Um, he says of the uh, song Blessings of the Blind, Hello, Thomas. Thank you for playing the blues rock track, Whatever Happened Today, uh, Whatever Happened to Today Last Week from my unreleased project, Tangled Webs. I hesitated a bit sharing it, but I'm determined to get more and more things off my hard drives, demos or not. Speaking of demos, here is something from a tamer, more mature album I have in the works. As with most of my material, it will be co-produced by Tampa Enoch and Soraya Blue, both of whom provide invaluable guidance on form, delivery, and flow. And near the album's completion, Mike Haggith will handle the final mastering details, prep it for vinyl, and um, sponsor it on his Morningstar Records co-op label. Mike has hosted two of my previous pop rock fusion albums, Smoke and Mirrors and Shockwaves, and there will be a third coming in that style. Though the album on this track... Uh, Though the uh, though the album this track is on will be a departure in tone and musical fabric. Uh, okay, I've self-indulged and plugged enough. Haha, <laughs> I promise not to bab babble so much next week. Love and light to all, and may the muses smile upon you. Well, I hope the muses, uh, I think they're going to smile on us with this track. Uh, so, check it out. Blessings of the Blind. This is Tobias H. Reese. Sorry, see. 
full grown. So stop fighting from the truth. All right, that was Tobias H. Reese with Blessings of the Blind. Um, and, uh, yeah, like, folk punk is spot on there. It's the immersive sound um, that you get uh, with uh, so many of Tobias's tracks. Um, but this one just has uh, so much going on in it. It's got uh, it's got this really groovy bass line that underpins it all. There's always this great uh, sense of um, organicness to um, what Tobias does. Um, you know, it all sounds very, very natural and very organic. Um, the way that, uh, the instruments layer and build up is, is always super cool. A lot of great percussion happening there. And then of course, um, some really, really, um, some really skillful guitar solos that, uh, occur there. And you get to see the process there. Um, you get to see the process there. Um, there's some images of, um, he builds his own guitars. So, um, so you get to see kind of from the construction through the finished product. Uh, there's just so much great stuff happening, uh, here in this, uh, in this one video, um, that, uh, Tobias has done. I love the kind of almost like spoken word, uh, approach to the vocals there as well. Um, yeah, this was, uh, this was a good one. And of course, always brilliant lyrics. So if you're not subscribed to Tobias H. Reese, um, now's the time to do it, I think. I say go subscribe to him. He's a cool guy. He gets involved with uh, so many projects, and he's got so much great music. Man, you'll be blown away. Criminally undersubscribed. Please go and subscribe to Tobias H. Reese and check out more of his music. Go to his Bandcamp page and uh, check out all. Check him out on uh the different social medias as well. Uh, so thank you again. Tobias H. Reese. Fantastic track. Uh, all right. Up next, we've got Ron and Jenny, Wolfstone Studio. That's right, the Wolfstones. Good to hear from the Wolfstones. This is a track called That's the Way. And uh, let's, uh, let's uh, take a look here and see what we got. So um, they say here, hi, Thomas, Jenny and I usually uh, don't usually have a musical style in mind when we start writing a song, but we decided we wanted to put together an 80s style tune, and that's how our first song of 2024 was born. Also, uh, Jenny helped with the vocals. All right. We've been saying for a long time that uh, Jenny should get involved with uh, doing some vocals. So that's awesome to see in uh, here. Um, so... Let's uh, see and hear it right here. This is uh, That's the Way, Wolfstone Studio. First original song of 2024.
That was uh, Ron and Jenny, Wolfstone Studio. That's the way. That is the way. Brilliant job on that, um, as always, by um, by Wolfstone Studio. Ron and Jenny, uh, I love that. Uh, I love that Jenny added the vocals there uh, toward the end of the song. That was cool. That was uh, fantastic, and uh, worked out perfectly for this song. Um, I love that you really captured those '80s vibes, um, like just from everything. Like this, the the way the song is like produced and mastered, it just gives you that 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 uh, it's dripping with '80s, and I, I love that about it. Um, some really cool synth tones in there. Of course, uh, Ron uh, doing amazing vocals as always. Um, in addition to Jenny, and uh, yeah, and the, then I loved the video as well, and the way that you incorporated like some of this really vintage footage. Um, it just adds to the whole like. Uh, it adds to the whole atmosphere of the track in a great way. So, um, yeah, brilliantly done. Thank you so much for that one. Um, if you aren't subscribed to Wolfstone Studio, please, 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 please go over and uh, subscribe to their channel, for they are criminally undersubscribed. Uh, and that's a shame uh, because they make fantastic music, and uh, you can check it all out on the Wolfstone Studio channel. So... Again, get over there, clicky, clicky, clicky. You know what to do. Uh, thank you so much. Again, Ron and Jenny, amazing work. Great first song of 2024 and uh, first of many, I'm sure, and I hope. Um, all right. Um, hello uh, to Dan Eckberg Music. Welcome. And hello to Folk and Bluzer. Welcome. All right. Uh, so, uh, up next, we've got Kubrick Lover 1972, Brian Kaisela. This is uh, from his A Hiroshima of the Mind album, The Death Chick. And uh, let's, let's see what, uh, what information we need to get into our brains before we uh, put our ears to this one. Uh, hi, Thomas. Hope you are well. This song I did for my concept album, uh, A Hiroshima of the Mind, for the winter part of the album, which focused on death. This song is sort of inspired by goth women, and so that's why it's called The Death Chick. <laughs> I lowered my, I kind of lowered my voice and then recorded it onto my iPhone and changed the pitch of my voice on the sampler of GarageBand that is on iPhone, uh, mixed with instruments on my uh, GarageBand on Mac. Hope you and everyone else enjoys the song. All right. I think we will. I think we're going to dig this. I think it's going to be awesome. This is Kubrick Lover 1972, Brian Kaisela with The Death Chick. Thank <laughs> you. 
That was uh, Cooper Glover, 1972, Brian Kaisola with The Death Chick. Um, yeah. So this is what uh, this is what Brian does so well. He really evokes a an emotional response, um, and I think he's, he's really done that effectively here. He creates an environment uh, through sound, and you it's like this you know alternate dimension that you go into and then you experience the things that he wants you to experience through the use of sounds through the use of samples in this one um but uh yeah i i really uh, i really enjoyed this one and uh i thought it was particularly it was particularly dark and particularly effective um so i uh, i really enjoyed everything about that one um and uh yeah, I kind of agree with Mars here. I'd like to see I'd like to see Brian do some performance art, but this this kind of is that. Uh, hello, Pendar, welcome. Um, but yeah, this this kind of is that though. Um, it kind of it kind of is it kind of is doing that uh, performance. It is it is a form of performance art. Um, and it's also yeah, you you can see the Kubrick influence and in, and in films from that era with those great and, and very strange, um, but very, very, um, evocative, um, soundtracks. So yeah, uh, you know, uh, just brilliant work there by Kubrick lover, 1972. If you're not on, uh, if you're not subscribed to that channel, if you don't have that bell rung and all the things, now's the time. In fact, I'll even, I'll give you a second. Click, click. Hopefully, hopefully you use that time to, to go and subscribe. Anyway, thank you so much, Kubrick Lover, nineteen seventy-two. This is uh, this is epic stuff, very fantastic. So, um, great work on that. Yeah, stage element to accompany the sound. Well, yeah, like a like an like an Alice Cooper type of thing almost, but uh, the big stage show kind of thing. Yeah, that could be uh, that could be cool, definitely. All right, thank you again, Kubrick Lover. Always. Always a pleasure having you on the show, and uh, thank you for your support of the channel. Um, all right, we got uh, one more uh, before we have a very, very uh, exciting halftime headbang. Uh, but first, let's check this out. Mike Haggith, uh, and this song is called Missing Live in Sault Ste. Marie. And uh, here's a little bit of the background information on the on this particular track here. Um, so, uh, Mike says this, Hey Thomas and friends, today I've got a question for you. Have you ever wondered what if, more specifically, have you ever had a moment where you found yourself wondering how life would be if a past failed relationship would have worked out? Years ago, I was in a relationship that didn't totally fulfill me, and occasionally my mind would drift back to what life was like during a brief fling with a girl beforehand. I often dismiss these thoughts as nothing more than the mind wandering, but years later, I found that it was the result of an unrequited love. 
And while that girl and I would eventually have a second chance, which ended in total disaster, I'm glad that I experienced it and don't have to live with those questions. Life now is much better, and my wife gets a ton of credit for that. But this song was written all those years ago when my mind was still wandering. Uh, I still love this song because it reminds me of how far we've all come. I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. You rock. Yeah, and everybody everybody can pretty much relate to unrequited love at some point in time or another. All right. So let's check this out. Missing by Mike Haggith live in Sault Ste. Marie on 11 4 2023.
Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sustain, go, man. Let it go. No. I didn't fall All right. Well, so it's not. That was Mike Haggith with Missing Live in Sault Ste. Marie. Um, yeah, I kind of agree with a lot of what uh, what I've been seeing in the chat there. Great live jam. Like uh, Kubrick Lover says, I've yet to hear a bad song from Mike Haggith. Yeah, me either. <laughs> Hail Haggith. But um, yeah, it, it's it's a great song. Uh, it's really well performed. I got to give a special props to this drummer. Keeping the, you know, he's holding it down. Uh, he, he, you know, he's holding down the rhythm section. Also doing the vocal harmonies. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Um, so, you know, it's hard enough. It's hard enough just to play drums. I mean, and, and you know, that's a very like physically demanding instrument. Then to also just like like it's nothing singing the vocal, singing the uh, the harmonies on the chorus and stuff. Uh, that's really that's really impressive. <laughs> really impressive. I don't think there's a lot of drummers out there who could manage that one, but uh, that's amazing. Um, and uh, yeah, just like overall, like the band, um, so uh, so well rehearsed and so. Um, so great chemistry there. Um, you can you can see that clearly. Um, now the real crime is that how few subscribers Mike ha Haggif has. Um, for as talented as he is, it's criminally undersubscribed. So you need to go over to Mike uh, Mike's channel. Yeah, you know, hit that subscribe button, and uh, there is just a, a vast catalog of music. Um, I think he's got something like fifty some albums, uh, or something like that. Uh, he's got a lot of music. He's got a lot of music. So if you just head over to his uh, YouTube channel, subscribe, and then um, you can also check out. He's on all the social media sites. He's got his own website. He's got a band camp. It's all down in the description of the video. So if you follow that link that Folk Punk has helpfully provided here, um, that'll take you to all of that. And then um, you can get you can get on board. He's even got a mailing list going on lately. Um, so there's a there's a Mike Haggett mailing list you can get on. Um, I'm on it. So it's uh, it's really well done, really well done by Mike Haggett all around. Um, he is a total pro, and it shows right there. Um, all right, let's uh, say hello to the Lily Pillies. Welcome, Manny. How are you doing? Um, yeah, all top notch talent. They all put in their time in the local scene. Absolutely. Um, all right, but it is that time of the show right now. It is time for the halftime headbang. Let's go. Now, we have got a really, really special halftime headbang today because uh, we got somebody uh, who it's been way too long since we've heard from and I wasn't sure if we'd hear from him again, but I'm glad we did. Uh, so this song is by uh, Ember Hill. Uh, it was going to be a premiere, but I think it's already been released. So, uh, But I, I had to make it the halftime headbang uh, because this is, uh, this is just some uh, epic stuff. Um, uh, so let's, uh, let's just talk briefly about this one. Uh, oh yeah. Uh, so the song is called bring the rain and all we have for a description is I'm wearing matching socks. Yep. <laughs> Hello, Den play, uh, Den play Condolin, uh, welcome. Um, uh, yes, we're going to get, get some Ember Hill. We've got matching socks going on. Um. Uh, yeah, this is uh this is pretty killer stuff. This is Bring the Rain by Ember Hill. Half time head back. Government officials insist that this is an isolated incident. <laughs> <laughs> In the case of New York, 
That was Ember Hill, halftime headbang, bring the rain. Um, yeah, I'm with I'm with you. Wow. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I loved everything about this. This is this is exactly the this is exactly the kind of thing that I would gravitate towards. Um, the vocals are just insane. It's they're so good. Um, the you know riffs are heavy. Um. Imagery is very powerful. Lyrics are very, uh, very powerful as well. I mean, there is so much, um, there's so much war that's going on, and the, you know the terrible, uh, the terrible killing that's going on in, in like uh, in Gaza right now, and uh, of course the, the still going on in Ukraine as well. Um, and it just seems like more and more stuff is popping up all over the all over the world, and it feels very apocalyptic. And you you captured all of that in this. Um, so kudos to you on that. Um, this is, uh, you know, this, this, uh, uh, just, uh, incredibly an epic song. Um, so Ember Hill back with a vengeance. 
with this one. Uh, and so glad to have Ember Hill back and uh, and rocking with us again. Um, so please head over to Ember Hill's channel because uh, Ember Hill is criminally and feloniously undersubscribed. So um, I hope that you will head over there and uh, write that wrong. And uh, yeah, check out Ember Hill's music because I'll tell you what, um, the, some of the stuff we had on here before was just as awesome as this. Uh, so that's why I was excited to see Ember Hill back in the uh, back in the fray, back in the back in the queue of uh, submissions. Thank you so much, uh, Ember Hill, and uh, keep up the fantastic work. Uh, and hello, welcome to Timothy Lay. Good to have you with us. Uh, all right, we're gonna we're gonna launch into this uh, second half here, and uh, I believe that uh, our next artist has it covered. That's right, we've got a cover here from Rainfield Music, who, by the way, uh, thank you to Rainfield Music, Rainfield, uh, one of our, one of our uh, newer uh, Solid Gold Rockers to the channel, so congratulations on that. Thank you. But uh, we're going to check out this song here. It is called Shipwreck, and uh, let's find out a bit more about it. So, uh, this is a nice jammer by Louis Zagoras and his band Rollover. I'm using the Frankenstein Gibson scale strat that I made. The other guys just learned the song. Good times. <laughs> yeah, I think, I think I'm going to be learning this one uh, too. I don't think this is one that I have heard before, but uh, we'll check it out here. This is a shipwreck uh, cover of Louis Goris and Rollover uh, by Rainfield Music.
That was Rainfield Music with a cover of Shipwreck by Louis Zagoras and his band Rollover. Wow. Um, that was a heck of a jam there by uh, Rainfield. And uh, let me see here. So you got Steve R., Pat Dennis, and Dave R. All right. And Susa Palooza is the sound gal. That's awesome. Uh, well, the sound was uh, the sound was fantastic, and that that little room, man, it's uh, it's a cool place to jam. Um, and uh, you got to give it up for the uh, give it up for the uh, guitar. The guy on the lead guitar was really uh, really rocking out there. Um, but everybody everybody was just doing the fantastic stuff there uh, on that one. Um, and uh, yeah, great uh, great jam there. So um, yeah. You know, it's just that uh, that whole thing, a bunch of guys, you know, getting together down the basement, rocking out. That's that's what it's all about, man. That's uh if you you do that, you got something you got something going on that's special and uh that that's that's probably the most important thing about it. Um Yeah. Ember Hill says it can't get songs to sound that clear on my laptop, let alone jam in a basement. Yeah. Um because everything was like perfectly in balance in there too, so Susa Palooza did a great work uh, on that. Uh, so if you're not subscribed to Rainfield, um, why don't you wander your mouse on over there and, uh, yeah, click that uh, subscribe. Check out more of the music that uh, Rainfield's got. There's a lot of uh, a lot of great stuff up there uh, for you to check out. So thank you very much, Rainfield, and, uh, yeah, awesome job on that, uh, on that jam there. Um, All right, we're going to go now. Uh, I have one more track from a solid gold rocker. And uh, this one is a bit late. <laughs> it's a bit late in the bit late in the year. But uh, because it's our good, it's our great friend uh, Tremor Bear sends us this one called Christmas 2023. All right. So we've got a little bit of a Christmas straggler here. Let's, let's see what we have here from Tremor Bear. He says... Uh, Here's a song I re-recorded and decided to use as my Christmas 2023 song. It's a simple song. Thank you, for Thomas, for playing our music to the world. All right. So let's check this out. Um, getting us ready for next Christmas already. Uh, this is Tremor Bear with Christmas 2023.
That was Tremor Bear with Christmas 2023. Uh, yeah, that was a great jam. Any time of the year, um, it doesn't really matter. It's a it's a great jam. Um, and uh, you know, the like, Tremor Bear is the master of these hooks. Like he writes the most amazing hooks on guitar. Um, he, he's so skilled with that. Uh, and the uh, and the production, of course, on this is uh, is fantastic as well. Guitar playing is is really great and i think like you could you could probably like strip away the christmas imagery from this and it could work just as a great jam like on its own um because like um i saw uh, dan um counterfeit self had mentioned like it doesn't it doesn't really scream christmas necessarily so um so it works it works as that um and i'd rather listen to this than a lot of the christmas stuff um but um it, you know it also just works as a jam overall so uh it's pretty pretty spiffy stuff there from tremor bear um so i'd uh i'd encourage you strongly to uh go against your natural instinct when you see a bear you want to go the opposite direction i understand that that's that's human but tremor bear is a different kind of bear and he rocks and uh uh so i i hope that you will actually go to his channel and uh hit the subscribe button um and uh yeah get in the den with tremor bear and get rocking because uh he's got a lot of rocking music over on his channel um he he didn't let santa use it <laughs> all right yeah uh thank you very much tremor bear awesome job on that and uh we'll we'll, we'll be ready you're you're already ready to go for for next christmas <laughs> All right. He was he was feeding the wildlings, the dogs. Yes. All right. Now this track uh, I'm gonna play next is uh, I I think I missed this somehow. Um, probably in the chaos of the holiday season, uh, on account of the holidays and all. Um. So let's um. So this is Anthony G and Marcus Canell, and this song is called Your Own Way. Um, so they say here, uh, I will try and send you this song again. <laughs> so that's telling me I probably missed, I think I missed this one, uh, a little bit ago. Uh, in a world where some people might step on others to climb higher, this song reminds us that there's a better way. Your own way tells the story of breaking free from the hurtful grasp of those who seek to hold us down. It's a reminder that you have the power to break free Believe in your dreams and make your mark on the world if you dare. Yeah. I mean, how could you disagree with that assessment there? I don't think you can. Um, all right. So my apologies if I, if I missed this one. I don't know how that happened, but uh, it's uh, better late than never, I guess. This is uh, Marcus Cannell with Your Own Way. Uh, Marcus Cannell and Auntie G.
There was Auntie G and Marcus Chanel. I remembered. Old habits die hard. Uh, but it's actually Marcus Chanel. Uh, I remembered we were we were uh, educated about that last time. Um, anyway, Auntie uh, Auntie G and Marcus did uh, another uh, another in incredible incredible rock uh, hard rock heavy metal anthem. Um, I, I like that this one this one actually got uh, got pretty heavy there in the on the verses and uh, I, I think I heard. I heard like a, a singing style that I don't think I've heard from Auntie G before, but I like it. Uh, I like what they were doing there on the verse, and uh, and then it went into the chorus, which had more of uh, Marcus's um, Marcus's um, you know instrumental metal uh, as the backing, and and Auntie G's just soaring vocals um, that are always uh, some of the best around. So. Um, Great, great work there uh, once again by uh, Marcus and Auntie G. Um, they're they're just killing it these days, and uh, it, you know there's no stopping um, what they can do uh, with the with the chemistry and the, and the, just the way that they're able to um, synthesize what they do together so well. Um, so I, I hope that you will uh, take this opportunity now to go and subscribe to Marcus and. Uh, then you can also go down in the description. There's a link there for Auntie G and go subscribe to her as well because um, she is also a uh, magnificent musician uh, on, uh, in, in her own right as well. Um, so thank you very much to Marcus and Auntie G. Uh, and my apologies that I missed this one a little bit ago, but uh, I'm glad we got to hear it now. Uh, I love the message of the song as well. I think that's, you know, probably probably should have been right up front with that. <laughs> it's a... That's a powerful message. Uh, all right. Hey, it's Ron Ward. What's going on? Homegrown Indie Live. Uh, check him out. I got links in the description, by the way, for uh, him. Uh, you got Metalhead Hippie, uh, who should be coming back pretty soon. And, uh, and uh, of course, you got Pete Johns as well. Uh, everybody playing your music, doing the doing the, the cool thing and the right thing. So, uh, good to see you, Ron. Uh now, we're going to go to this next artist here. This is Greg Hutto, and uh, this song is called New Tomorrow, and um, let's see what we have here from Greg. All right. Greg says this here. Uh, here it is, my first single of 2024. New Tomorrow features astronaut Tom as he sets out to create a new tomorrow for himself after the crash of the spaceship Stardust on this distant planet. Right. Astronaut Tom. <laughs> I didn't remember signing up for that. Uh, all right, here we go. So this is Greg Hutto uh, with New Tomorrow.
All right, we got uh, that was Greg Hutto with New Tomorrow. Um, and uh, yeah, I would say that is a that is a, a big guitar tone, definitely on that. And uh, you know, he does some interesting things with the mixing. Um, I've noticed like he's got the guitars, and they're kind of like right down the middle, right down the middle. They're very like centered in the mix, and then like the vocals, and it gives them this this huge wide sound. So the vocals are spread out more uh, in the stereo field. It's really interesting how that works, and it works well um, for this style of music. Um, and it's got that down tuned uh, grungy uh, kind of sound uh, to it, of course. That uh, that Greg has kind of um, made a name for that uh, kind of style, um, and uh, got those Allison Chains vibes going on as well as uh as Kubrick Glover points out there um and uh you know and he's created this this very distinctive visual style too with the kyber ai you know uh uh video production um it's very very slick stuff um so excellent job Greg Hutto hope you'll uh you avail yourself of the opportunity and the the uh, possibility of going to his channel and uh tapping very gently on the subscribe button until it does whatever it does and uh yeah because uh, he's criminally undersubscribed as too many are uh so um always fantastic work by greg and uh thank you very much for sending that one uh over to the show i appreciate it um all right yes avail yourselves listen listen to ron um, and, uh, we're going to go next, uh, down under, we're going to go to Australia and, uh, we got a couple, uh, uh, Australian artists here. Um, so this is, uh, the Lily Pillies, another day, another night. Let's, uh, let's read the, uh, the literature on this one. Um, uh, so he says here, another uh, day, another night. Final video release from our album songs from the present day. The song has a guest appearance by my son, Sam, on acoustic guitar. And now the process begins to start writing album number three. There you go. You heard it here first. There's going to be a new, uh, there's going to be a new Lily Pillies album coming out at some point in the near future. They're working on it. It's great to hear. All right. So this is uh, Lily Pillies with Another Day, Another Night lyric video. I can hear the rain outside my window. I can hear the calls. Speeding by Just another day It's gonna be slow Today I'm gonna stay at home My coffee's warm and I can be alone I can leave my shoes off without a worry Take my time and watch the world go by I can think without no distractions I'm gonna stay in bed Put my feet up and read a book instead Another day, another night I can be Myself and I Another day Another night Gotta make the most Of my precious time Another day Another night I can be alone With myself and I Another day Another night Gotta make the most Of my precious time Tomorrow a different story It's gonna be another crazy day I'll be running around with nothing to see But today I won't look at my 
That was the Lily Pillies with Another Day, Another Night. It's a very different song for the Lily Pillies. Like, um, you know, from what we've heard from them in the past, they usually kind of do uh, songs that are more in, like, the, you know, power pop, uh, synth power pop, synth pop uh, kind of uh, vein, a um, little bit of, like, indie rock. Um, this one's a lot more laid back, a lot more chill, uh, mostly driven by, like, acoustic guitar, um, and uh, it's got some, got some just uh, really, um, you know, the whole message of the song is very kind of laid back, just taking a day off, which is a great thing to do. Um, staying at home, you know, uh, not dealing with all the, not dealing with all the BS, not all the bullshit. Just tune it all out and, uh, you know, enjoy some uh, beverages or whatever, you know. Uh, it, it, you know, and it is nice to, uh, nice to do that uh, from time to time. Uh, yeah, it balances out the album. It works really well for that as, you know, um, nice counterbalance to some of the heavier tracks. So, uh, this is, uh, this is pretty great stuff here. Nice job on the lyric video as well. It's, uh, fit the, uh, fit the vibe of the song really nicely and, uh, look very professional as everything that, uh, Manny and company do. So I hope that you will, uh, go, uh, check out more of the Lily Pillies. Go subscribe and, uh, you won't be disappointed, and uh, before before you know it, we'll be looking at album number three, which I'm stoked about. Can't wait to hear the first single from that. It's going to be cool. It's going to be interesting to see uh, what direction that uh, Manny decides to go in. Uh, and uh, but you know that it's going to be it's going to be quality. It's going to be you know it's going to be an amazing album. So uh, we're looking forward to it big time. Uh, so. Get to, get to work. <laughs> yeah, great. Best of luck on that, and uh, keep us posted. And uh, thank you very much for that uh, great submission. Uh, all right, I'm going now to another Australian artist, Kai Wynn. Uh, and this song is called Future Me. Let's uh, let's see what we got here from Kai Wynn. So uh, Kai Wynn says, a song written back in 2010 to reflect on my internal yearning of self instead of external love, learning to overcome the learned hope hopelessness we gradually developed over the years growing up into adulthood, trying to establish a strong sense of self to continue in uh, on in this journey of life. That's uh, some pretty heavy stuff to grapple with, but you know we all have to kind of do it at one point or another. All right, here we go. This is Kai Wynn with Future Me. The world is just too cold. I don't wanna get old I do what I am told mm -hmm. My dreams put on hold I thought I need to be wise And try to play nice 
but I'm too precise. Can be criticized. All I can do is just try to close my eyes. Is this my destiny? The struggle internally. How can I try? This tragedy. Why aren't you here with me? If only you see. Took your advice and try not to cry, but to my surprise, I just compromise as I lay down and just try to close my eyes. Is this my destiny to drown in my treasure? Just be who I need to be. Time to let go of me. Oh, goodbye, farewell, so long, oh me. Yes, it's my destiny to wrestle to fear. To push through these boundaries, finally I'm ready to make more of life's memories. You will be proud. That was Kai Wynn with Future Me. Um, what a warm and heartfelt song that is. Um, you can feel the soulfulness in his voice in this one, the uh, sincerity that uh, he delivers this with. What a beautiful, what a beautiful track, beautiful arrangement. Um, the <clears throat> all the uh, symphonic elements were added. Sound really, 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 you know, very good and very, um, you know, just. Uh, enhance the song so perfectly um and everything is so balanced in the mixed um it's really um it's really produced very um very excellently um so i you know give it up kai win uh just uh just phenomenal work on this um I mean, this is like a classic you know when you go back in time you know like a classic r&b track it, it, it's kind of it's right there um 
you know, uh, all all the, uh, you know, everything that you would want is, is there, and this should definitely be, um, you know, this this should be on radio stations, you know, um, but uh, yeah, magnificent, mag- magnificent stuff, a lyrical, dreamy vibe. Yeah, I, I, I like that. Uh, I like that uh, description as well. Um, so go over, uh, check out uh, Kai Win. And uh, subscribe. Check out more of his uh, incredible, incredible music. Um, man, um, just uh, just an, an incredible stuff. So thank you very much, Kai Wen, uh, out of Australia, and uh, doing uh, in, in just uh, phenomenal work uh, with these great songs. All right, uh, we're gonna go from Australia. Now we're going up to Germany to catch the latest. From PA with Catch X. So this is PA's uh, brand new song. She uh, she would like us to know this. Uh, catch us if you can. Catch the X differencing us from the rest of society. The fact that we survived it. All right. So. Let's catch our way over. To PA's channel. To Catch X. Brand new track from. Pronounce it alternative, P.A. I'm tired of all these people judging all about me. Of all these people never really try to understand. I've been through so much, what you want to preach me? How to settle down or how to nine to five Five fingers are enough to clinch a fist For the misfits, for all my cloud fighters And believe me, one end is enough and you'll be knocked down Tried to beat me, life tried to beat me Destroyed me and take my breath but I am a cloud fighter Hat high and very much alive, sense me Feel the shadows underneath Try to reach the end of the border Baby, nobody Can understand what I've been through And how I survived And why I'm still alive Not me I do not dance in the moonlight And wait for the white horse to arrive Thunder Can you hear the sound? The sound of the grey Inside of me Catch me if you can just try to catch me if you can Hate me if you can Just try to hate me if you can Catch me if you can Just try to catch me if you can Hate me if you can Just try to hate me if you can Remember, I was never good enough Not good enough for you or for anyone else You were never there, never listen Call me Mimosa and just threw me away But look, I'm standing here to all the soulless people Beware, catch me if you can Just try to catch me if you can Hate me if you can Just try to hate me if you can Another uh, another uh, barn burner there from PA, Catch X. Wow, that's amazing. That is incredible. Um, so PA coming into uh, 2024 uh, with a uh, with a real with a real uh, just uh, spitting fire in this one, um, and uh, yeah, it's uh, she's a master as far as putting together. Um, you know, these great synth sounds that, uh, underpin all the, all the, uh, uh, songs that she creates, um, like these, uh, arpeggiated synths and stuff that just really emphasize that, that strong beat, 
Uh, and this is something that could definitely play on a dance floor. Um, it, it would it would work really well for that. Um, but, you know, everything that PA does is, uh, you know, it's just so many layers and there's so much thought that goes into it and so much, um, you know, um, creativity and the unique view that she has of the world. Um, and she brings that into every song. Uh, but this one, it really felt, you know, like this is, you know, personal and, uh, and, uh, you know, coming on the, uh, coming on the, uh, attack here with this one. And I like it. Um, and, uh, we, we could never hate PA. <laughs> she says, hate me if you can. Well, I can't, I can't do that. I can't hate PA. Uh, cause, cause we love PA. We can't hate PA. Um, so, uh, this is magnificent. Great work from PA pronounced it alternative. If you aren't subscribed to PA, would uh, shame on you. <laughs> Go subscribe. Like she's amazing. She's an inspiration to everybody, um, and uh, you know the music is just, just, just fire. It's fire. Um, so, thank you again, PA. Pronounce it alternative. Man, what a uh, what a banger of a song to come in uh, to bring in twenty twenty four. So we're expecting all kinds of great stuff from PA over the year. I'm sure. Um, and this is uh, setting the tone for it in a great way. All right, let's go now to Italy. We're going to check in on Zesuthros, the Anonymous Alchemist is the name of this track. And uh, let's see what Zesuthros is up to. He says here, Zesuthros is a one-man band from Italy based on black metal music. This is the first track of the debut EP, The Anonymous Alchemist, released on September 2023. All right, here we go. We're going to give this a play. This is the Suthros, the Anonymous Alchemist.
That was the Suthros, the anonymous alchemist. Uh, and uh, the Suthros, absolutely. Just uh, I, that, that guitar. I'm surprised it didn't just melt down in the middle of that. Because that, uh, those riffs were so hot there. Um, and, uh, like, he's so consistent with the timing. You know, we talk about the metronomic aspect of his, um, of his playing. And it's true. It's true. The guy is just, uh, you know, a, just a, a machine with these, uh, riffs and keeping those, uh, keeping those, uh, those, um, chugs going and stuff. Uh, and, and, uh, you know, the solo work as well on that. Um, yeah, this is, uh, some great, this is some fantastic stuff here. Um, now the uh, unfortunately is feloniously undersubscribed. So, uh, what I, what I'm going to ask you, if you could please do, uh, so kindly is go over to his channel and subscribe, check out more of the and, uh, you won't regret that you did it because he's amazing. Um, so great stuff as always. Thank you. Zesuthros. Uh, we love to hear from Emanuele and, uh, you can check him out over there on the band camp. Thank you, Leela. There you go. Check him out on the band camp as well. Um, and, uh, you will not be disappointed. Not in the least, not in the least. Uh, hello, William James. Welcome. All right. Um, so we're going to go to this track here uh, as Ray Foster. Uh, who we've just been recently introduced to. Uh, Goodbye, our love, rock ballad. Um, so let's see what we have here from uh, from Ray. So he says, uh, unfortunately, this ballad is of a sad note. I lost my partner two years past. I created this monster production at home the very night after her funeral. Um, on the track, I have family members singing in the chorus, real bagpipes and real marching drums, thanks to a friend. You will hear the sound of water in the track. She always dreamed of having a beach house, but this is the best I can do for her. Um, recorded in Cakewalk by Band Lab. Uh, remixed in Pro Tools. I'm sorry if this is too sad for all you rockers, but I hope you enjoy it as it's the biggest creation I ever composed. Ray, um, yes, we will uh, we will definitely play this. This sounds, um, you know, obviously uh, difficult thing to go through and that's an understatement of the highest order but um this is uh this is a, a just incredible tribute um so let's um let's give this a play this is goodbye our love by ray foster You are here, you're here with me, you're here with us, your family. When we'll be down, you'll be around, with your love to comfort us. Till we cried, sharing memory 
That was Ray Foster with uh, "Goodbye Our Love." Wow. Yeah, that was uh, that was quite the epic epic tribute. Um, you know, obviously, like it, it's hard it's hard to even really comment on a song like this, just because you can tell the the place of both love and pain that something like this comes from. Um, in in you know, again, you know, uh, our, our our hearts go out to you, and uh, it's just one of the most difficult things I can imagine anybody having to deal with. Um, you know, uh, but this is this is a beautiful, beautiful tribute to um, what I'm can't can only imagine was an amazing person, and um, you know the the level of detail that and, and effort that was put into this, like, you know. Um, the including the family members in there like that's that's incredible um you know the, the bagpipes this little touches like little things like that um it just take you know um you know what's an amazing song an amazing um memorial to uh this person uh to this whole new level and um it, it's just really powerful uh stuff so uh yeah we're we're all you know hoping that uh you know things are uh getting a, maybe hopefully a little bit easier now but uh you know it's it's always going to be difficult um so thank you so much for sharing such a uh such a personal thing with us and uh really appreciate it um and and this is magnificent um please go and check out Ray Foster uh go subscribe and uh leave some comments and uh let him know that uh let him know you appreciated this and and uh how how powerful and um and moving it is uh, thank you very much ray foster great work on that 
All right. Uh, we're going to go now to Canada. And uh, we have some uh, incredible uh, artists from Canada, as we always do, because Canada is uh, just delivers the rock like you wouldn't believe. And uh, we're going to start out with uh, Michael, a.k.a. Z-Land Band, who is now, uh, once again, a solid gold rocker. Uh, consider This uh, is the name of the track. And uh, let's... Uh, Let's see what we have cooking here from uh, our good friend Michael, a.k.a. Z-Land. So, he says here, consider this. Um, Hi, Tom, consider this. I'm still a mystery after all these years. You know, that that is very true. That is very true. M Michael is a man of mystery. Uh, but he's a very talented man of mystery. Uh, so, let's check this out. Consider this. Michael, a.k.a. Zeland Band. Consider this. I'm still a mystery. After all these years, able to turn smiles into bittersweet tears, twist losing positions into probable wins, sadly gaining pleasure from a multiple of sins. Consider this. Never wanted to hurt you, only make you pay. For being able to worship without having to pray. Always casting down at every turn. Pouring gasoline as we burn. That was Michael, a.k.a. Zeland Band, with Consider This. Um, and Michael, you know, one of the great things about Michael's music is he always gives us lots to consider um, in, in every track that he does, uh, including this one. Um, but, yeah, um, there's some really, uh, you know, it kind of starts off at a little bit of a, like an industrial uh, note a little a little tension a little suspense, but then it really drifts into kind of these beautiful pastoral um, and and symphonic lines that uh, melodies are, are just uh, really um, you know gives you that uh, peaceful and and uh, sense of uh, serene serenity. Um, but um, you know, Michael gives you lots in the in the spoken word to to think about and. Uh, you know, uh, lots of stuff to, uh, you know, wrap your brain around, um, the, the craziness of the world and, and, uh, you know, the things that just don't make sense, but we just accept them every day. You know, uh, that's, uh, that's something I always wonder about a lot of these things myself. And, uh, so it's cool. Uh, the great poetry, of course. So, thank you very much to Michael, a.k.a. Zeland uh, Band. And uh, please, please, please um, subscribe to his channel, Criminally Undersubscribed. Yes, in fact. Um, but 
Uh, also, you can uh, you can check out all of his music. Um, just look up Zland Space Band, Zland with one Z Space Band, and you will find uh, just a, a treasure trove of music. Wait, it's like it's like uh, a pirate going down into the pirate ship and finding the big uh, you know the treasure box with all the gold and stuff in it. That, that's what it is. You you find Mike Wake at Zland, and it, it's literally that. You know, because there's so much, so many nuggets of great music. It's gold. It, it's all it is. Um, so thank you very much once again to Michael A.K.A. Zealand, and uh, yeah, keep keep um, keep dreaming in in a big way uh, because this uh, this stuff is fantastic. All right, uh, we're gonna go now to uh, another Canadian artist that uh, we're all familiar with. This is uh, Gore Team eighty five Pseudo Science. Uh, and this track is called Quest. And uh, let's see what we have here. From from Gortium, he says, Hoi Hoi TC, back with a brief pseudoscience orchestral track called Quest. Wayex said it reminded him of video game music that would go with the game Golden Axe. So I got the old AI wizard to conjure up a scene of warriors about to head out onto an epic quest. Oh. All right. So we're going to check this out. This is pseudoscience with Quest. That was pseudoscience with Quest. Well, that was quite the epic uh, soundtrack, was it not? I don't. I think this is the first time I've heard something quite like this from from Gortium. Um, I mean, I've heard a lot of uh, you know a lot of uh, different stuff, but I don't know that I've heard like this more like orchestral uh, kind of side of things. Uh, this is very cool. Um, now I have no idea, you know, video games, right? Who's got those? I, I don't know anything about video games. I don't know. I see people talking about it in the chat. I'm like, what? What are we doing? What's happening? I have no idea. Uh, but I'll take your word for it. The people that have said that that would go really well with that game and the axe guy and whatever else is going on there. Uh, so uh, I'll, I'll have to just I'll have to just take your word for it on that one. Uh, but uh, yeah, this is this is some. Uh, some epic soundtrack work here by Gore Team 85. So, um, yeah, nicely done. Thank you very much. Please go to Gore Team's channel and subscribe, for he is criminally undersubscribed. Yes, he is. Uh, but um, every subscription is one less of that. So, uh, yeah, and you're going to be treated to great music because he's got pseudoscience, he's got coax chrome, uh, he's got... Uh, 
uh, the the basement uh, tapes thing <laughs> that I can't remember the name of right now. It's got a lot of stuff. There's a lot of stuff happening. Gore Team 85 channel. Uh, so check it on out. Of course, and you know, need, need I remi- need I remind you of uh, SBD? SBD. Yeah. I don't. That's not actually on the Gore Team 85 channel though. Uh, that's on a different channel. But you go back in old uh, episodes of You Rock and you can dig that one up. Um, so it's, it's worth, worth the effort. <laughs> All right. Uh, so uh, sticking with Canadian artists, we're going to go now to Patrick Loren and, uh, he sends this one here called even today and, uh, of even today he writes, uh, describing and negotiating with lost love is what even today is about being able to navigate life with a little bit of hope. All right. So like we've had a lot of we've had a lot of tracks today with like wrestling with uh, life difficulties in life and lost love and things like that. Um, so let's check this out. Patrick Lauren with even today. Give it some time to wither away Cause it feels like it's strong even today The promise of a better life The lies to keep myself alive But it still cuts Deep and it's hard, so hard to wake up. You stand there in front of me with little to say, but your eyes say it all. You don't have to stay. Everything under the sun is all. If you still believe that it's worth the wait Any way you choose to go Be. 
All right, that was Patrick Lorin with Even Today. Um, now, I really loved uh, a lot of things about this track in particular because it is amazing. Astonishing, even. Um, like, I love the way that he just, like, so effortlessly floats, literally floats uh, from the one unusual chord to the next. And it just works, and it just works like these. It, there's, there's like the chords you think would happen, and then there's the chords that do happen, and they're so interesting and so different. Um, but um, obviously, like they, they just work so well. Uh, and then the there's some of those descending bass lines and stuff is just like psh, unbelievable. Um, and uh, the, and then you top it all off with these vocals that almost have like a like a Gregorian chant kind of um, uh, element to them. Uh, definitely like an ethereal quality to these vo vocals, um, and uh, the way they just sort of seem to like levitate above the mix in a, in a cool way. Uh, and these amazing harmonies, like the harmonies are unreal, just unreal. Um, like it's it's one thing to sing like a like a like an like a major chord or something um when you're doing vocal harmonies but to get like a note right underneath the note that's being sung like like uh, like a semi like a semitone down like that's super difficult to do um and he does it all throughout this song and it you know this is it's it's amazing so thank you very much Patrick Lauren uh criminally undersubscribed please go subscribe just do it I, you know, don't, 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 don't make me, don't make me beg. Just go, just go, just go subscribe. Um, this guy is unbelievably talented and uh, definitely deserves your support and uh, dive in and uh, appreciate even more of uh, of what uh, Patrick is up to because it is absolutely fantastic. Yeah, I, I agree with Cold Acre here. This is exactly what I was saying. Like the the unique chords, not bog standard open chords, dissonance, yes. Exactly. One hundred percent. Um so when bog standards are soggy, there might be like there might be cranberries in there or something, you know. So you don't want bog standard. Uh, All right, thank you very much once again to Patrick. All right, we're going to another Canadian artist because there's so many people rocking in Canada. It's unbelievable. Canada is just rocking 24 hours a day. Um, so this is Rob Taves with just another excuse. And uh, let's find out a bit more about it. Uh, so he says, playing around with some acoustic rock ideas. All right. So let's check out uh, this one from Rob Taves. This is just another excuse.
That was Rob Taves with just another excuse. Yeah, and there's some big, uh, big days of the new vibes uh, with this one. I, I know I saw it, I saw it mentioned there in the chat, but um, it definitely has that like acoustic grunge rock sound. Um, that uh, days of the new was very known for, but. Uh, this is another fantastic example of that. Um, love the lyricism in this one too. Um, and it's kind of like vague enough to be about anything. So it kind of, but it, it's also, I think somebody can find something to relate to in it. Um, it can be about a lot of different things. There's a lot of, a lot of different situations where you might get excuses from people that, that are kind of BS, but um, yeah, I, I, I like that. I like the way that the lyrics were a little bit like vague, a little bit open ended. And I like, I think it leaves a lot, um, to the imagination of the listener, which is a cool thing. Um, and, uh, obviously the vocal delivery is great and, uh, some really cool, um, guitar, uh, riffs going on in there too. So, um, uh, yeah, excellent job by, uh, Rob Taves, criminally undersubscribed. So you could head over there, hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button, do the things, do the stuff, you know how it goes. Uh, but yeah, um, thank you very much, Rob Taves. Great work. So that'll conclude the uh, Canadian uh, jaunt that we were on there. Uh, now we're going to uh, go from there. And uh, first of all, I'll uh, I'll tell you um, uh, that... Uh, you can send your tracks in bit.ly forward slash urock submit. Be con considered for a future show. And um, yeah, hit that like button if you haven't on the stream. And uh, if you're watching on replay, if you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button as well on this uh, on my channel. Uh, all right, let's go to uh, Paul. This is Long Way to Go is the name of this one. And... Uh, Let's see what we have here from from Paul. Um, Paul says, uh, Hi, Thomas. This is another totally improvised song, originally done around 1986 to 1987 on cassette tape, then redone on iPad 2018, remixed in Cakewalk 2023. So it's been around a while. I think it's inspired by Phil Collins. There's no real meaning to the song as it's improvised, so whatever you want it to be about, it's up to the listener. I've been making music for many years, but never thought it was good enough for anyone to listen to. Um, thank you for your support. All right. 
Well, I think we got a little bit of a different opinion about that. Because we've been... Enjoyed the track. Definitely enjoyed the track we heard last week. So this is uh, Paul, P-A-L, with Long Way to Go.
That was Paul, P-A-L, with Long Way to Go. Um, yeah, that was uh, that was fantastic stuff there from uh, P-A-L. Um, it does have, like a lot of people have the, commented, it's got kind of a, a little bit of like a retro 80s vibe to it, which is always cool. I, I, could, I could actually hear a track like this in a soundtrack for... Um, like a movie like The Breakfast Club or, or some, one of those classic 80s films. Like it just has that kind of, uh, has that same kind of feel to it. Um, there's a lot of sophistication, a lot of layers that are happening on this one. Um, the vocals are very authentic to the time period and to the feel of this song. Um, and uh, yeah, Paul has just worked some real uh, magic. It's, it's still hard to believe that this, he improvises these lyrics and stuff. Um, it's it's wow it's mind blowing, uh, but he's he's really good at what he does. Um, so the seeing is how he is really good at what he does, and you see you just saw a great example of it. Um, go to uh, go to uh, the P A L channel, hit the subscribe button, and uh, yeah, listen to more of his music, comment, uh, and uh, like and all that stuff, and uh, I'm sure that he would greatly appreciate that, and you'll be treated to some more amazing tunes like this one. So, um, with the the epic history of it, too, you know, coming from 1987, so it really was, you know, it really is an 80s song uh, in, in, in the truest sense. Um, Re-recorded on iPad in 2018, remixed in Cakewalk, so it's um, it's been treated about as well as it, it could it could have been, and uh, that's cool to see it kind of keep getting new life and stuff. That's That's kind of awesome. But it is a great track. Uh, all right, we're going to go next to <laughs> Robbie Stingle. And this song is called I'm I'm Going to Be Free. Now, uh, Robbie did kind of uh, give a few notes about this one. Um, and this is what he, uh, so he said, I uh, wrote this this morning and uh, made two vids. So the video that you're going to see is a shorter version. Uh, but the link you're going to get is for the full version of it. Um, and uh, the guitar is an 85 Beretta that Robbie built when he worked at the Kramer factory. The neck is an experimental Lucido banana with a glued-on fingerboard from 1985. Um, so there you go. Um, and if you know what that means, great. I'm not a guitar guy, so the guitar people out there will be like, yes, yes, exactly. And I'm like, what? Okay. Uh, anyway, <laughs> let's check this out. This is I'm I'm going to be free by Robbie Stingle.
All right, that was Robbie Stingle with I'm going to be free. And, uh, yeah, you got to love the energy that uh, Robbie brings to this uh, to this jam here. Um, you know, uh, the intensity, the uh, punk rock attitude that uh, comes out of that. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's just like... I, I love he looks out into the distance before he starts singing. He looks out in the distance. It's like it's like he's looking for like some um, entity or something to give him the words, and then he just goes, <laughs> and then he just goes. It's awesome. Um, I love that he worked the gong in to the to the song too. Um, that was cool. Um, gives you gives you a sense of what you know, just the gong can do um, to to just punctuate. Um, certain moments in the song like that works out well um, and uh, yeah great stuff there uh, by Robbie Stingle the gong father go check him out go uh, subscribe to his channel if you're not already and uh, yeah great stuff uh, there from uh, Robbie Stingle rocking it out there uh, for us so thank you uh, all right we got uh, just a couple more tracks here uh, left to go. If you've been digging the show, make sure you hit that like button. Um, and uh, if you do have a track you want to send in for a future uh, edition of You Rock, send it to bit.ly forward slash You Rock submit. Uh, all right, next artist that we've got up is uh, going back to the United States. Uh, well, he's staying in the United States actually for uh, another track here. This is Jeff Caffell, uh with Follow Me. And let's. Um, Let's just see what uh, what we have here. He says, this is a track that I've wanted to make for a while. I usually get a whole lot of suggestions when I'm in the midst of the writing process. And on this one, I tuned that shit out and I like the results. All right. Yeah, sometimes, man, everybody wants to tell you how to write your song. <laughs> and sometimes that can, be, that can be a good thing. You get some you know, suggestions from people. Other times, you just got to do what you, what you want to do. So... Here we go. This is uh, Jeff Capel with Follow Me.
That was Jeff Caffell with Follow Me. Well, that sure takes you on a chaotic uh, journey, doesn't it? Um, that's uh, That's got more twists and turns than, uh, I don't know, the Autobahn or something. Um, anyway, those uh, drums were, sounded really big in in that uh, in that mix, and uh, like uh, what he's doing with with vocals and and stuff is just uh, really really different, really unique. Um, I have to say, um, um, there's some cool vocal melodies that are happening in there. I did hear that, and uh, <clears throat> there was um. Some pretty pretty heavy guitar moments as well, um, so so that's always uh, cool. There's some some uh, some decent shredding in there uh, also. Uh, so yeah, uh, nice stuff there from uh, from Jeff Caffell. You can go uh, subscribe on his channel, uh, J Crazy, if you if you dug that one, or uh, you can go and uh, I don't know if he's on other stuff or not. He's on Instagram. There you go. Thank you, Leela, for that. And uh, I think maybe that might be it. I don't know. Uh, but you can go check him out on the YouTube channel, of course. And uh, thank you very much, uh, Jeff, for that one. Um, all right. We're down to our, uh, our, our final song of the night. Last but certainly not least. We've got The Secret Legacy. And um, this should be... Actually, I should edit this right now. Because this is featuring Lori's Mishmash. I know that. This keyboard, I'll tell you what. It has a uh, some kind of a print screen feature or something. It's right next to the delete key. So I'm always accidentally hitting it. It's very annoying. I'm also doing this with one hand. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Alright, Secret Legacy and Lori's Mishmash. Uh, the girl who gets the party started. Uh, let's find out about this one. Um, so, um, and uh, Costa, so th really this is a, this really is an international sort of collaboration because you've got Costa out of Australia and you got Lori out of uh, Northeastern United States. So, uh, hello, Thomas and all community members. Here is a brand new original song I wrote for another popular community member, Lori's Mishmash. After seeing all her collabs and always enjoying herself in videos, the tune just came to me. It's a 1960s type track, very catchy. The video is fun to work on too. I guarantee everyone will either smile and maybe get a chuckle. In these times of a lot of bad news, we all need something to cheer us up. Enjoy yourself and enjoy our video. All right. Yeah, definitely very true about all of that all right so here we go this is secret legacy and Lori's mishmash together uh this is the girl who gets the party started
All right, that was Secret Legacy and featuring uh, the vocal and keyboard stylings of Lori's Mishmash, Girl That Gets the Party Started. Um, yeah, it was a lot of fun. Fun track there. That almost, it, you know, it felt like something that could have been, um, oh, hello, Colorful Energy, welcome. Um, that felt like something that could have been in, like, uh, like a like a musical, like Grease or something. Uh it's got a, it's got a, I don't know. It's got, it's got a little bit of that kind of a little bit of a Broadway vibe to it. Um, uh, but yeah, Lori did a great job singing. Um, she should probably sing more. Um, uh, would be my guess. Uh, she did a nice job on that. Um, uh, and, uh, yeah, great job, uh, on the, uh, on the piano as well. And, uh, yeah. Um, I like the, uh, video, I like the way that was put together. Hey, we got to see, uh, Costa. In the video, he, he appeared in the video too, um, so that was uh, that was cool because I don't think we've I don't know that we've seen a lot of Costa in videos, uh, so that's great and uh, yeah, very very nicely done um, by uh, both uh, Secret Legacy Costa and uh, and Lori. Um, so thank you very much for that one and please go over subscribe to the Secret Legacy because he is feloniously undersubscribed uh, and uh, oh, he says uh, I sung it originally but I had a bad cold so so she volunteered there you go uh, alright but yeah go and, uh, go and subscribe to the secret legacy feloniously undersubscribed and then you can uh, follow the links as well to Lori's Mishmosh channel not very hard to find that one um, she's one of the first comments down there too so you can just go and uh, go and check that out as well. Yeah, I think I think you got everyone smiling with that with that one, uh, for sure. So yeah, nicely nicely done, nicely done. Uh, so go and uh, go and check both Secret Legacy and uh, Lori's Mishmash out if you have not done so already. All right. Well, it's been a great show tonight, has it not? I think it has. I think we've had some amazing, amazing music. Uh, I'm always blown away by the quality and talent. Um, I say it, you know, I say it every week, but it's because it's true every week. Um, I'm blown away with the talents that uh, people around these parts have, and uh, in this community, it's, it's unbelievable. Um, so, thank all of you because without you, there's no show. You know, I'd just be sitting here, you know, uh, rambling on about nothing <laughs> so you thank you for providing the uh the incredible tracks and uh keep doing that bit.ly forward slash you rock submit uh if you do want to join the uh solid gold rockers you can do it paypal.me or on patreon patreon.com forward slash thomas christ uh, super chats and super thanks after the show are always welcome uh as well never expected but greatly appreciated and uh yeah there we go unmasked yes <laughs> all right so what's coming up uh i think pete is back to his regular time for the podcast at three o'clock uh eastern so he'll have something i don't know what it is but he'll have something uh really great for us there 3 p.m eastern i think that is and then uh an hour after that 4 p.m jade star is going to be interviewing uh thomas glane and uh, a lot of you probably won't be real familiar with Thomas, but uh, he's somebody that was around the community a lot years ago. And uh, so it'll be it'll be cool to see what he's been up to. He's an amazing musician. We've had uh, one or two of his tracks, I think, on the show here before. Uh, and uh, he's just uh, he's a brilliant composer. Uh, I think Ron Ward's got a show tomorrow night, probably. Um, and then. Uh, yeah, Friday Jade's got a uh, app review and walk with me, so lots to check out. And then on Saturday, uh, I'll be back. I'll be doing Thomas Christ Live, opening for uh, Jade, opening hour and Pete John's happy hour, and and Brad Example with the after party. Uh, I'm pretty sure he'll be probably doing that. So uh, there's lots of lots of cool stuff to come over the next few days. Uh, so thank you all once again. Uh, make sure to. Get those tracks in early for the next show, uh, and uh, yeah, uh, we will uh, we'll see you around. So much love, take care, 
keep rocking, but I am gonna I'm gonna leave you with uh as we as we often do. Uh I'm gonna leave you with a track of mine. It's uh When Our Blood Mixed uh is a track off of my two thousand one album and uh just this weekend I did the uh Thomas Christ Live and I uh I played a new version of it that uh I just actually put together. So uh because I thought it needed a little bit of updating uh to make it a make it a better song. More uh more up to date. So um so this is that version of the uh song live on uh, on Thomas Christ Live from this past weekend. So uh this is give you a little little idea of what you could expect on a uh, on a Thomas Christ Live show. I might be putting this up as an individual video as well later, but uh Right now, we'll just check it out from the stream. Uh, so here we go. Uh, to take us out, this is uh, uh, this is When Our Blood Mixed, the 20, uh, 2024 mix live on Thomas Christ Live. So take care. Much love. Keep rocking, everybody.
down to freedom Ran far away and just left me to hang And on that day, all of that mix Dipped on the ground and met with a kid Wrong!